Hope everyone's doing well. My name is EQ, aka the Certified Gem Hunter, and welcome to Soccerholics. Today's gem is going to be FET or Fetch.ai. We have a really good feeling that data and artificial intelligence are going to be the next areas in the blockchain world that are going to explode. This is actually going to be a back to back release. There's going to be another project that's a data and AI project that has a much lower market cap that I would consider the ultimate gem. That will be available on the Discord tonight and will be released for public view tomorrow. So if you want to view that video before it goes public, make sure to join our Discord group. And before we get into this video, if you could throw a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. And cue the intro. So Fetch AI or Fetch is currently ranked 120th on coin market cap, sitting at 71 cents a token. We're looking at a market cap of 531 million, a max supply of 1.1 billion, a total supply of 1.1 billion, and a circulating supply currently of 746 million, which is 65% of its max supply. Volume is relatively high on the 24 hour scale. It's sitting at 76 million in volume in the last 24 hours. So their fully diluted market cap is going to be 822 million. So there's a lot of room for growth. That's not a very diluted market cap. A lot of times you see if a project at half a million market cap will probably carry a $5 billion fully diluted. This is also going to be one of the few projects that has two security audits, one by Certic, which is a well-known company, and one by Slowmist. Most projects rarely go through the hassle of getting one Certic audit or any sort of audit in general, so the fact that they're going to get two is a really good sign. We're going to do a deeper dive a little bit later, but this project came out for the public on March 3rd of 2019. We saw our first spike around March of this year, and we saw a dip, and we saw all-time highs previously in September, which is really good to see. This is one of the projects that looks like it's going to be impulsing very well in the next cycle of this bull leg, which is my hint that the bull run is not done. We're just going through a nice little retracement and fulfilling some things that we didn't have to fulfill until now, and it just took a little bit longer to fulfill and find our supports based on Fibonacci retracements, but we did. And if you want to learn a little bit more about that, make sure to come join our Discord group. Looking into the Fetch website, it's artificial intelligence for blockchains. They're building an open access tokenized decentralized machine learning network to enable smart infrastructure that's built around a decentralized digital economy. You'll be able to buy Fed token and stake it as well. So it's a proof of stake. It works with Uniswap and PancakeSwap. So it's both on Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. And it's a cross-chain compatible project. So it's probably going to be working with many ecosystems moving forward. Now it's a Cambridge-based artificial intelligence lab that's building a decentralized machine learning platform that's based on distributed ledger. It enables security sharing, connection, and transactions based on any data globally. The network is based around an open source technology that any user can run to connect the network, giving access to the power of AI on a world scale secure data set to carry out complex coordination tasks in the modern economy. The system has wide potential in many areas. Financial service users can optimize trading. Public transport networks could be reconfigured. Cities can intelligently adapt to usage by their citizens. The gig economy could be restructured and energy networks can be connected in a smart grid. So the things that they're looking to accomplish are huge. Their goal is big. Their vision is big. It's exactly what you want to see. They are open source. That's great. All the audits, great. A lot of use case. They are finite and they are deflationary, which is a good thing. So machine learning blockchains can be used to decentralize federated learning algorithms so that the benefits of the collective machine learning models are shared across the multiple owners of the data. Simple development and deployment of autonomous agent populations that fulfill economic goals through strategy, communication, search, and the exchange of value are going to be called agents. And they go a little bit into cryptography, which is enhancing the speed, efficiency, and security of the blockchain using next generation multi-party computation or mpc protocols for random beacons and aggregated signatures the partner list is big bosch t-mobile blockchain for europe dartella yodi binance ochain kudo waves there's a lot of big names even anchors on here tons of press from forbes to coindesk the economist cointelegraph the telegraph the guardian 
Economist, every big, pretty, every big major outlet you can think of in terms of media press. So it's a large project and they're going to continue to gain steam. So sitting at a half million dollar market cap, if it wanted 10 X, that would be a $5 billion market cap, which is fully capable. It's not too far fetched to think that that's possible. Here's the first look at their slow miss security audit. You can see they pass with flying colors. There was no vulnerabilities that were found on this end. And then we go into the Certic audit, which scored a 91, which everything is holding very well. And you can see they're very open with all this information. There are still some companies that withhold some of the information within Certic, but they're very open about everything. So it's very positive news, very good. It's really good stuff to see for Fetch and just for the artificial intelligence community and data collecting community as a whole. Now looking at the daily chart, we seem to be holding the support that was holding from the previous all time high around 57 cents. If this wants to hold and fulfill, we could see a nice boom in price, potentially all the way up to the two, three dollar range before it wants to come back down. Now we're just waiting for volume right now to start coming in. There hasn't been anything yet, but the stochastic and the RSI is starting to pull up. The fast RSI is pulling up from oversold. The MACD has pulled down a little bit red, so it has room to grow and go up. The VFI has stayed bullish, so we're waiting for a green signal on the VFI. And that would be the volume flow, which should trigger the volume on here. So you should see some seismic activity if the volume flow starts to go up. But all in all, most money has not been pulled out from fetch. Most people are accumulating right now. And your slow stochastic has slowly dropped off and dropped into the oversold, looking to push back up. And this is on a daily, so this could take a week, maybe even a couple of weeks to fulfill back up into the overbought. So keep an eye out for fetch.ai. And don't forget that there's going to be another video that's posted on our Discord group later tonight on another artificial intelligence project with an even lower market cap than fetch aka the real gem because fetch is good and all but the other one can actually 100x potentially so it's going to be a really interesting project to look into going forward i think it's still a really big sleeper that people are just starting to accumulate on so make sure to join our discord group and we're going to wrap this video up here anyway so if you didn't get a chance to throw a like on this video please do so now and if you could take a second to subscribe to our youtube channel that would also be greatly appreciated and we'll catch you on the next one